October 4th, 2014 from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles, California. It was Game 2 of the NLDS between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Zant Greinke was on the mound for the Dodgers, and Lance Lynn was going for the Cardinals. So in the top of the first, Carpenter grounded out. Jay got hit by a pitch, and then he went to second on a wild pitch. Then Holiday struck out, and Adams would ground out as Greinke would get through the inning unscathed, only allowing the one base runner off of that hit pitch. So then in the bottom of the first, Lance Lynn would set the Dodgers down in order as he struck out the first two batters he faced as he set down Gordon and Pui, and then got Gonzalez to line out. So after one, it was still knotted up with goose eggs. So in the top of the second, Zach Greinke would set down the Cardinals in order. So then the bottom of the second, Lance Lynn would get Kemp to ground out, but then Hanley Ramirez would get a single as he got the first hit of the game. But then the next two batters struck out as Crawford and Uribe would bring the inning to a close. So it's still 0-0 after two. Then in the top of the third, Zach Greinke got the first two batters out. The second batter he struck out as he got Lynn to strike out. And then Carpenter walked, but Jay ended up getting out, and so we went to the bottom of the third. And the first batter, A.J. Ellis, had a double. And then Zach Greinke got a single as he moved Ellis over the third. So we had runners on the corner as Zach Greinke was helping his own cause. And then D. Gordon, he grounded out, but Ellis was able to score, and Greinke went to second, so he was still in scoring position. Puig would strike out as he had struck out last night to end the game and then he ended up striking out here as he was having a series of strikeouts as he struck out in his first as bad also so it's three strikeouts in a row for Pui so now Gonzalez came to bat with Zenke in scoring position as he was on second base and Gonzalez hit a single to bring Zach Crank in so that made it two to nothing Kemp would end up flying out and the inning came to a close the Dodgers had picked up two runs, so the score was 2-0 L.A. over St. Louis. So now, from the top of the fourth, Greinke would come out and strike out the first batter he faced, Matt Holliday. And then he got the next two batters to go down as he set down the Cardinals in order. So now, we had from the bottom of the fourth, Lance Lynn would do the same as he got the Dodgers to go down in order. And he struck out the last batter he faced, and that was Uribe. Then in the top of the fifth, Greinke came out, and he got the first batter to ground out Molina, but then Wong got a double, so he's in scoring position. But the next two batters would strike out as Gerkachuk and Lynn both struck out, so Greinke got out of that one, and the Cardinals left the runner stranded. So now in the bottom of the fifth, Lynn got Ellis to ground out, but Zach Greinke came up and got a single as he continued to have success at the plate in this game as he was helping his own cause. Gordon then got a single and Greinke hustled all the way over to third as he went from first to third. Puig then would strike out for the third time in a row in this game and the fourth time going back to last night, the night before in game one. Gonzalez then brought the inning to a close as he ended up popping out. So it was still two to nothing. L.A. over St. Louis. Now in the top of the six, Matt Carpenter would start things off with a double, but then the next two batters would end up getting out. It's Jay ground out, then Holiday struck out. Matt Adams walked. We had two runners on, two out, but Peralta struck out. As Zach Greinke was pitching lights out, as at this point he had a shutout going. So then Lance Lynn ended up letting up a hit to Matt Kemp as he had a single to lead off the bottom of the sixth, then Hanley Ramirez would walk, so he had two runners on, then Carl Crawford struck out, Zaribe came up to bat, but he would ground out, but he moved the runners both into scoring positions, now Kemp was on third, Ramirez was on second, Ellis was then given the base, so now he had the bases juiced, and Zach Greinke, for the first time in this game, did not reach base, as he ended up grounding out. So he helped his cause somewhat, but wasn't able to get it going there with the base juice and two outs. So now, after six, it was still two to nothing Dodgers. Now in the top of the seventh, Grinky set down the Cardinals in order, as he was still pitching some amazing baseball as he did all game long. He really put out an amazing performance. 
on both sides from the pitching aspect and also with his bat, even though he did round out there in his last at bat. Anyway, so Mark Go Gonzalez ended up coming in for Lynn, and he ended up setting down the Dodgers in order. He struck out the first two batters he faced as he got Gordon and Puig to strike out. Then then he came to a close with Gonzalez popping out. So that was the seventh inning. So after seven, it was still two to nothing Dodgers. So now in the top of the eighth, J.P. Howell would come in to pitch for L.A. as he would end up, you know, Greg ended up coming out the game. So now we had Tavares pinch hit for Gonzalez, and he ended up singling. And Matt Carpenter came to the plate with Tavares on base, and Matt Carpenter hit a home run as he tied this game up at two runs apiece. So now John Jay ended up reaching on a single. Lee came in to relieve Howell. Holiday ended up getting out. And then Adams reached on a free base. And Peralta ended up grounding into a double play. And some amazing defense by the Dodgers got them out of that jam. But they did let up two runs. So at this point, heading into the bottom of the eighth, it was a tie ball game. It was starting to look like it might go to extra innings. So now Pat Nessa came in to pitch for St. Louis in relief of Gonzalez. And the first batter he faced, Matt Kemp, took him yard as everybody in the stadium was on their feet as he hit a home run to give the Dodgers back the lead at 3-2. to two. Rojas would then end up getting on base on an error, but then Crawford struck out a rebate, grounded out as well as did Ellis, and the inning came to a close, but not before the Dodgers took back the lead with that leadoff home run by Matt Kemp. So now he went to the top of the ninth, and Kenley Jansen came in to close this thing out as he came in for league, and the first battery pace was Yadier Molina. He got him to ground out, and then he had Wong at bat. He got him to strike out, and Gerkachuk struck out, so Jansen gets two strikeouts, he picks up the save, and the Dodgers even up this series at one game apiece as they win by one run with the final score 3-2, to two, Dodgers over the Cardinals. This is actually the first series in the LDS round, in the Divisional Series round, that has actually not been 2-0 as every other series, all three, the two in the American League and the other one in the National League are all 2-0, but in this series, we actually have it tied up at one game apiece. Now we had some great pitching performances in this game as Zach Greinke pitched seven innings only allowing two hits and no earned runs. He did walk two batters but he had seven strikeouts. He said Jansen ended up getting the save with those two strikeouts and Howell and League, you know, they both came in in relief. Howell let up that home run to Carpenter. And League though came in was able to do his part, and as I said, Jansen got the save, so the Dodgers got a much-needed win. Lance Lynn pitched six innings. He allowed seven hits, the two earned runs. He walked two batters, and he had eight strikeouts. Gonzalez came in and pitched one inning, and only and he got two strikeouts and no earned runs. Of course, Nessie got the loss as he came into that one inning and allowed that home run to Kemp, the first batter he saw. He did get a strikeout, though, later in the inning. And in this game, Matt Kemp got the home run. He was two for four. He hit that one solo shot, that one RBI. He was the only Dodger to hit a home run. Matt Carpenter was the only Cardinal to hit a home run. He had that two-run shot. He was two for three, the two RBIs. He also walked. So Carpenter had a really good game at the plate. Gonzalez got an RBI. He was one for four. D. Gordon was one for four and also got an RBI as well. And Greinke was actually two for three and actually came across the plate to score. So he helped his cause. And that was actually the difference in this game as they won by one run with the final score once again. Dodgers three, Cardinals two, as this series is now tied up heading to St. Louis for game three. <laughs>